super professional intro with no music so I don't get copyright struck uh, striked struck yeah hello there my name is wimp and welcome to the refit of the open cockpit utility hover vehicle 06 hover speeder I've already spawned it in as per usual here are my other ones that I've already upgraded over there and this is this old vehicle here mmm so first thing I'd like to point out is that this front end might not make a lot of sense and that's because the detector used to look like that which is now a decorative um, antenna there we go that's the word I was looking for for some reason I could only think of aerial but that's not quite right so yeah and ironically that decorative aerial isn't even available to hover vehicles anymore <laughs> but uh, yeah that's why that looks weird so what are my plans for this one first of all I think I'm going to reduce the number of thrusters a bit so I'm going to have three mediums for the forward thrust, like the original is here. But I'm not going to bother with these two extra ones. And then these two braking reverse thrusters will be mediums as well. But I'll get rid of these two here. And the lateral thrusters I'm thinking will be the same, three smalls in both directions. The only thing is that this one here will move to here in order to improve your. These will probably be going and that's because of the second change which will be the turret. Now as per my Wimper manufacturing terms, definitions and whatever it is. <laughs> oh my god, how can I not remember? Wimper Manufacturing Terms, Definitions and Conventions Guide. Conventions was the word I couldn't remember. But as per the uh, building rules, which are somewhere... <laughs> there's so much on this page. Oh, they might be nearer the top, actually. I might have gone past them, possibly. No, I don't think they are at the top. I think they're nearer the bottom. Here we go, so the weapons, they should be here somewhere, but uh, I don't like having civilian vehicles with their weapons constantly exposed. Why am I not finding it? Uh, okay, well I'm, I'm pretty sure it's there somewhere. <laughs> so the construction rules of my civilian vehicles, the turrets should be retractable. So this will come down and therefore because it will be a retractable turret it will take up this entire space which is currently open to allow access to things um, so that'll mean these ramps aren't needed another change that I'm planning will be this front end so I uh, borrowed this front end from a youtuber called cage848 you may have heard of him possibly now I did repurpose it slightly and change it slightly but it is based on his the front end of one of his hover vehicles and I then used it as the basis of, a, of the front end for a lot of mine I mean even the big digging vehicle which I'll come to at some point to update has a front end that has those shapes but uh, obviously bigger and different but I think what I'm going to do now, because on these updated vehicles, I started to use this shape that I started with on the hover ped and carried on basically on all of them. I mean, there's a slight change, but it's there for most of it. I think I'm going to try to do a shape like that on this hover speeder. I'm not sure how that's going to work, but... I will try my best and that will become sort of the signature design aesthetic for the first run hover vehicles even though it'll change the way they looked when they were first run in the game which by the way is why they're called the first run hover vehicles uh, another change there was something else 
Oh, yes. So it'll probably have a container, controller, and extensions, which will probably mean those two small boxes will go. I'm going to make the bit that the seat sits on three wide, and then these two bits here, the steps, will be five wide, and that's so that it can be easily... Uh, modified into a two-seater if the user wants um, and it also means when I come to do the enclosed version <laughs> which I'm going to show now I'm going to have to reopen all of this but hopefully it won't take me too long so the enclosed cockpit version of that is utter garbage and I knew it was garbage even at the time uh, even more garbage than the hover camper in my opinion I mean the hover fly was sort of garbage on purpose so I don't, <laughs> don't mind that I just saw it as I sk skipped past uh, where are the enclosed copy vehicles oh I think we're coming upon them now because we get the additional open cockpit ones there it is <laughs> yeah so that's <laughs> <laughs> that's what the enclosed cockpit version of this looks like and I think what I'll do instead when I come to this is just use an actual cockpit block I don't know which one oh yeah I'll bring that back um, yeah anyway I'll, I'll decide when I come to do it but I think I'll make this so that that is easily addable if that makes sense um, right so I'm gonna do what I have been doing actually with some of these where I bring in my little starter thing with the big white arrow and sort out all the blocks and devices I want on the new version and in the numbers I want them so I think this also has two of the normal size generators yeah I thought it did and I'm probably gonna Oh, it's only got three hover engines. I'm probably going to see if it will use just a small generator. It might not, but I'm okay with using a single normal sized one. Um, Alright, so there we go. Uh, that's my plans. Oh, I'd better take this down onto the planet and see how it handles with just one small generator first. And then I'll bring you back once I've got everything ready. See you in a bit. Right then, I did a quick drive, it's fine, that original version is fine with just a small generator, so there's that. I think I'm going to want four fuel tanks, possibly, only because it might use the fuel a bit quicker than other vehicles around it in the series, because of how many medium thrusters it's going to have. Then we come to the medium thrusters. I know I don't actually need these facing the right way, but it does make it easier for me to understand what I'm looking at. Right, so there'll be two reverses and three forwardses. And there'll be three uh, smalls on each side. Okay, I don't know if I'm going to need any uh, RCSs, but this one was quite sluggish. Although the RCSs are right at the back, which, as you m might know, I did discover with one of the vehicles that that's not a good place for RCSs to be. So I will try to get away with one. And, sorry, I was just seeing if my torch was on. I know that the top lights are on, 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 on the construction dock. But I was wondering if my torch was on as well. I might be able to get away with just one. I'm going to put two here in case I can't. And then I know CPU-wise, you know, where I stand if I do need the two. It'll need one of those. And I think I'm going to go, even though this one's only got three, I'm think I'm gonna go with four hover engines why why I clicked why did you not place it moan 
Right, so that's that lot. Let's put them away and get the next lot of stuff out. Right, so it's going to have a detector. Obviously, it's going to have a Wi-Fi. I'm thinking I'm going to try to put on an armor locker and an O2 station. I'm, I'm going to try. It might not, but I will try. <laughs> Right. Um, now, one of the reasons I wanted the O2 locker is because I'm just going to adapt this version, or the new version, into the closed cockpit version, and that will need the O2 tanks, so I want to kind of get them on already. So I think I'll leave it as two. Yeah. Uh, and then hover boosters will probably be two and four docking pads again probably <laughs> okay so that's that little lot next yeah okay right so it's gonna have a fridge I might do maybe a small cargo box but then it's going to need... I can't tell which way round they are. It would be nice if they were different. So ammo for the weapons. But how much is that going to need? I'm hoping to do that. Maybe even that. For the ammo. And then for... Uh, <laughs> I forgot which way round they were again. Right. I'm not sure how big the uh, cargo container is actually going to be, but looking at this, it's probably going to be 3x3. Three three. So I'm just going to plop this up on here <laughs> for now. Again, this is all just to see how the CPU is going to be like. Uh, two headlights, possibly possibly one we'll see <laughs> but I mean if I you know allocate for two and then I only need one again with the flares this one's only got one on the back as a tail light and then I'm also thinking no that was wrong not that it really matters I don't know why I'm doing this to myself that's what she said so I'm also thinking I might put a light on each side just to light up the area around a vehicle if you need to I don't know whether that will be sensors or a switch or two switches but I don't think it really matters at this point I'll just place those two now let's see where we are for CPU because I'm hoping this is still a tier one fingers crossed oh yeah easily easily a tier one Okay, uh, it might be more than that because although I've allocated a 3x3 three three for the cargo extensions, it's possible, like the hover buggy over here, that the entire floor will be container extensions. It's possible I will do that. So we'll have to see what it comes out as. But at least I know I do still have plenty to play with. Hmm. Right, there we go then, so that's what I want on it, and I'll bring you back once I've got something started. Oh yeah, I also forgot it was going to be armed, didn't I? So, mini uh, Gatling gun on each side, just like that one, and a retractable mini gun on the back. Okay, so how is that now for CPU? <gasps> Oh no! Okay, well, <laughs> we'll have to see what I can do. Right, I don't really want it to be a tier 2, but I suppose it's possible I might have to. Right, well then, again, like I said, din -din -din -din, every time when I'm recording. Well, okay, maybe not every time. Yeah, I'll bring you back again when I've got something more to show you, because all I've got so far is a seat. See you in a bit. Welcome back. 
I've finished. What do you think? She looks very much like the original, doesn't she? <laughs> I'm only joking. The new one's actually behind me. So, this one is very rounded. And that's because this front end that I start, uh, borrowed from Cage 848 used the round blocks. And I decided to take that round shape to the back for this kind of pod thing. And I also decided for whatever reason at the time that this middle bit should only be one main block thick and then the steps should be on the side of that. So the steps then make it three blocks thick. So because the new shapes <laughs> of my first run thingies have that kind of the top half of a two by one slope there and then half of a block shape there I decided that the new version should be quite angular in order to carry on that shape across the whole of the vehicle and like I said I made that center bit where the driver seat is three blocks wide and then the steps on the outside of that not only so that I could add um, a cockpit for the enclosed version which is going to be this one which is four by two by three. Well, numbers in the wrong order, but you know what I mean. Um, and I, I, if you know anything about my building style, the rules I follow, I don't actually like enclo the enclosed cockpit blocks. Um, I mean, I like them fine aesthetically. It's just, I, in my personal opinion, I apologize if this offends anyone, I find their use to be too easy. It's like it's a very easy thing to do, whereas actually making an internal cockpit using just blocks is harder. So I think it takes a bit more skill and a, a bit more determination. So that's why I don't normally use these. But you saw how crap the original enclosed version of the speeder looked. So that's why I am actually going to use this on that version. Um, on top of that, I think it would be good if people could place a passenger seat or two um, next to... And I'll, I'll cover that when I do the tour video. I'm thinking you'll either move the pilot seat over to one side and have a passenger seat on the other. Or if you wanted to go three seats, you could just add a passenger seat on both sides of the pilot seat. But... Anyway, without any more further ado, that wasn't correctly the correct saying, but I'm going to go with it. Here it is. Oh, I'm miles away. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah, she looks like a whole different beast just because the shapes are different. Uh, I, I did play with the idea of only having one Gatling gun at one point, but uh, I decided, no, I'm going to stick with my guns and go with two guns. Now, I also wanted to put windows on it. Now, if you sit in the seat, the the camera isn't below the windows. Your Your camera view is above them. But if you go to the external view, you'll see that the seat, the... Uh, for Pete's sake, the player model is actually just short enough that the windows cover just over the head. So if you are driving into rain, for example, you might not get quite so wet. Although it's mainly for wind. It's a wind screen after all. But, uh, aye. She, she looks like a tough little cookie now. Obviously she's made almost entirely a carbon substrate for the purpose of keeping her weight down. Um, so what did I have to compromise on? I couldn't put on the O2 station and the armor locker, which I'm okay with, really. It would have been nice to have, but this is meant to be a get you somewhere fast and defend you from drones as you do it kind of vehicle. Um, it can carry some stuff, obviously, because of the container extensions. Um, but 
yeah, so I had to compromise on those. I also had to compromise with just one hover booster and three docking pads because of the CPU. Now, CPU-wise, that's where we are. 5,009. I'm okay with that. That's nine over. And considering you take these decorative blocks off and it takes you down to something like 4,990. So <laughs> that nine, that 99% that efficiency is because of some carbon substrate. <laughs> but still, I, I wanted them on there. Now, if you do end up editing it with passenger seats, the CPU cost of these is only four each. So even if you add two, one on each side, that still only takes you up to 5.17. That's okay. <laughs> yeah, so I think considering I wanted it to be tier one. Oh, and actually, uh, the glass is one each. Yeah, so, I mean, you could take those off and some of the carbon substrate. And actually, if you didn't add the passenger seats, you could get it back under CPU if it really bothered you. But it doesn't personally bother me. But yeah, look, it, it looks like a proper mean little vehicle, doesn't it? So the front hover engines I moved out, they were behind the thrusters, and the thrusters were forward one block. But it looked... This area here just looked boring. So <laughs> it, it, it was like a flat shape. So I moved them, moved them back. Uh, and actually, I think the front looks a bit better now. I've added a triangle shape there just to kind of, you know, make it look slightly better. But, yeah, I think it does look better. It's, it's a shame that these aren't out one block as well. Hmm. No, I'm not, I'm not sure it needs it. I don't think it needs it. Um... Yeah, so there we go. Oh, and I compromised on a fuel tank. There's only three in here. Oh, for Pete's sake, you've got to go down below, haven't you? Because there's a turret above. So there's only three fuel tanks, and I wanted four. <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> oh, I suppose, actually, these O2 tanks aren't necessary because I didn't put... Ah, that... Hmm... Uh, let me see what the CPU is of the small tanks. I gotta get some out, haven't I? Does it say CPU 75 and of the O2 tanks 40? Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I was thinking of replacing them for small fuel tanks, but. And then just putting the O2 tanks back on for the uh, the enclosed version. I, I think I'm okay with having O2 tanks on a vehicle that doesn't even have an O2 station because you can still take O2 out of here, store your O2 in there, take it out if you're running out in your suit, out, say out again wimp, I'm not going to do that joke again, or am I? Yeah, so there we go, It. I'm going to go test drive it and I'll bring you along and then it needs to be painted. Right, so I'll see you down on the planet then. Out. <laughs> I'm a knobhead. Okay, okay, let's give it a drive. She does look mean, doesn't she? Uh, I wonder what she looks like without those out. Ooh. That looks a bit, I don't know, I want to say Batmobile-ish, but maybe not, but, hmm, should I use a different shape there? Let me get some blocks out again. I'll bring you back once I, oh shit, once I've tested this. Hmm, hmm, not sure if that's better or worse. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know whether that's better or not. Um, I don't know. 
I can't can't make my mind up whether I prefer that or that. Oh, how about uh, instead these? No, that was the right rotation plane. Yeah, I think I prefer that. Slightly, like 5% more, I prefer that. Right, it's resaved. Let's give it a drive. It's pitching forward. No, it's not. It's pitching backward. I'm okay with that. It hasn't gone back by far. Like two degrees. That sort of would help with climbing slopes. Handles better than the first, I think. Um, Let's have a look. 74, 73, make your mind up. That's weird. Why does it go up when we're moving? Hmm. Uh, oh well, there we go. It's test drive time. It seems to be fine. I like it. Yes. Right, well then, I'll uh, see you once it's painted then. I'll go do that now. Right then, it's all painted. I've changed the front end ever so slightly. I tapered it in on both sides to make it a bit more pointy and ever so slightly more like the original. Not that it's much like the original, but, you know, yeah. Um, and the CPU has gone up by six, and that's because these small blocks here were missing from this one side when I last showed you so it has gone up slightly yes so there we go right she's all painted and I'm pretty happy with it now it looks really cool yes it's funny how much of a difference it is with how it feels compared to the original like I said earlier the fact that these are round blocks and these are angle blocks it just makes it feel chunky and aggressive um, in fact if we do this just for a second really? oh that was whole block wasn't it? Hutter. <laughs> Right, let's undo that and do that. Hmm. Black? Oh no. No, no, no. No, it, all these things ruin the black. The grey wasn't too bad. Yeah, I, I think that's why white always looks best on vehicles. It's because of stuff like that. It kind of breaks up the dark colour. I don't know, it's weird, but there you go. Right, so, as usual then, the block... Div uh, why do I keep calling it block like it's Space Engineers? The device grouping and naming and all the signal logics will be next. Right, so I'll see you when that's done then. You could have told me I accidentally put on two Wi-Fi blocks. So there was that one there, and then there was one here, uh, under, no, above the docking pad and behind the detector. So I removed the second one and moved the detector back and then did this block shaping. So there's now three extra on the... CPU, which means now if you add two passenger seats, that'll take it up to 5,020, which still isn't bad. I mean, it's over by a hair's breadth. Um, aye, so she's all finished. All finished. So the device naming and grouping is all done. I've left an empty seats just in case you do add passenger seats. Signal logic, well, 
there isn't any really there's some shortcuts now power save the only thing on the power save is that Wi-Fi the wireless connector um, and there's a turret and a Gatling gun one you can of course use the main general shortcut but if for any reason you only want one on rather than the other like if you've parked outside a POI you want the turret on you don't want the Gatlings on you can do so uh, yeah and as usual propulsion etc is all of the thrusters all of the hover engines and the RCSEs why are they all capitals I didn't mean to do that there we go right so she's finished thank you very much for watching and for taking an interest in how I updated the old hover speeder to the new one which I still think looks like an absolute beast um, yeah thank you very much and hopefully I'll see you either in another video for this build or a video for another build goodbye super professional outro just to give you time really to remove this video from your watch later list or something eee.